Good morning. Welcome to Grab and Go. I'm Miss Karen, the children's librarian at the Oakmont Carnegie Library. And this week, our theme is art. So since we are talking about art, I'm in front of one of the installations um, that was created by Sai Asad. And we do have his artwork all over the children's department of this library. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, he did the paintings as well as the three-dimensional pieces. So you can see behind me, we've got the Wizard of Oz with the Tin Man, the three-dimensional object. And there's a three-dimensional object that accompanies every classic painting that is in the children's department. Um, when he put these in, they looked like they uh, had belonged here all along. So they really blended so nicely. And uh, if you do get a chance to stop by and see it, I recommend that you do. Um, so today in our grab-and-go bags, I know it's rainy, so that might be an even better reason to stop by and grab one of these bags. I do have bonus bags left over from our uh, fundraiser on Sunday. So after we go through these bags, I will be putting out some bonus bags for you, so we will not run out today. Um, let me show you what your bags look like. We have these fun little lime green bags that you'll see in the front vestibule. You don't even have to come into the library. You can just grab and go, hence the name of the program. Um, we've got these cute little zoo animal cut apart arts that will teach us our numbers. So you cut it into strips after you color it and then figure out your numbers and see if you can get him to look like a real animal. Um, we have these really fun leaf wreaths because we're getting ready for fall. We have our fall displays up. That's going to look like this. So you'll see your leaves in one package and a cardboard ring that will come in with that. So you just glue those on there and make it beautiful any way you want. We have these really fun tie-dye door hangers. So you'll get a door hanger and the stickers that go on it. Um, we ran out of tie-dye wreaths. So if you get a bag that doesn't have a tie-dye wreath in it, we've got these really fun uh, mats with pumpkins. So they're strips of paper and they're weaving mats. You weave the paper in and out. So we've got a few of those as well. All right, today I'm reading Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. And this is a really fun book. I've read this in story time as well. So you guys might remember it, maybe not. And I'm gonna take off my glasses because I'm steaming up. It is so humid, isn't it? All right, this is Mouse Paint. We see three white mice on the cover. Will they stay white throughout the book? I don't know. Well, there, one is red already at the beginning there. And we've got a blue one and a yellow one. All right, there's that page. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. Who doesn't love to jump in puddles, just like today? The red mouse stepped into yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until... Look, he cried. Red feet and a yellow puddle makes orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... What color do you think that will be? Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle makes purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they wash themselves down to a nice, soft white. Where are they washing themselves? They're washing themselves in the cat's water bowl. And painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint 
an orange part, yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. And why do they want to be white? So they can hide from the cat. You don't want to be bright red and get his attention, do you? All right, thank you for joining us for another rainy day grab and go. Make sure you stop down and grab one of our bags. Like I said, I've got some bonus ones and I will see you on Friday for First Chapter Friday. Stop down and see us and have a great day.